Ronnie Garvin and Jimmy Garvin have been known to fight and will fight to the end. Garvin, born March 30th, 1945, Montreal, Quebec. Jimmy Garvin, he was born in September 25th, 1952. Wrestling real talk. So we're talking about the, the Garvins, Ronnie and Jimmy. Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin and the former heavyweight champion of the world, hands of stone, Ron Garvin. We're not brothers, which they were portrayed to the world, but they were indeed Father and stepson. Correct. Unbelievable. In the, in the real world, yeah. In, in the real so, world, yeah. yeah. But first off, man, it's great to be back on Wrestling Real Talk. That's yes. Eh bien, Jimmy Garvin, à l'autre bout, Jacques et Raymond. You know, that's the granddaddy of them all. We're talking about $1 million, the Tim Crockett Senior Cup. But you know, my interaction with uh, Ronnie Garvin, that was in uh, 1987, okay, at Cobo Arena, when wrestling was so dead in Detroit, people wouldn't even come for free tickets or anything. So my really good friend, Gary Warnchak and Gary Juster, in cahoots with the NWA, brought this main event to Cobo Arena. Uh, Ronnie Garvin for the championship against Ric Flair. In the cage. Oh, it, it was unbelievable, man. That is the night that the Garvin stomp became real. Yes, sir, and he became world's heavyweight champion. The Garvins here in the Motor City have like a special place that, you know, Ronnie has oh, said man. it several times on several different podcasts. You know, Detroit showed so much love to Ronnie Garvin. And at that time, uh, the NWA wasn't sure who they could put the belt on. But you had to be completely trusted in those days to be able to wear that belt. There was a lot more to it than anybody ever thought. The last thing you seen was this, so obviously you were looking at it. And you're gonna see it some more if you don't quit. I have a, a, a Garvin story myself, but it's gorgeous, Jimmy Garvin, and precious. Uh, they're, they're coming in, they're pulling. This was the Bunkhouse Stampede 1988 at Joe Louis that I need to go up there and tell them people who gorgeous Jimmy Garvin is because I am the greatest wrestler in the world. I go up to Mr. Garvin and I say, Mr. Garvin, do you mind if I get your autograph? And he's, I see he's struggling with his bags. And I know, I know you help the man with his bags. Respect. That's the, that's the first thing is respect. And he says, uh, you got tickets for tonight? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't, but I just wanted to come meet you guys. And he was like, hey, listen, come on with us. And he takes me into the backstage area. And he wow. says, I'm gonna ask you to do me one favor and then enjoy your night in, in, in the show. I said, hey, sure, You're anything. You're on cloud nine, baby. Right, <laughs> right. So he hands me a $50 bill and he says, Go get me and Precious upstairs. Go get us a couple slices of pizza and some sodas. And come back. Up on that top with on. If he can get him over, get that scorpion on him. So I go down upstairs in Joe Louis Arena, Little Caesars, I'm getting the pizza. I'm all excited, you know. I get back downstairs and security's like, nope. I said, what are you talking about, nope? Uh, this is for uh, Jimmy Garvin. And they're like, kid go go back upstairs go back upstairs and i was like this is for jimmy garvin and all of a sudden precious walks around and she's like um son jimmy's waiting for his dinner and then the the, the security looks and then he's like she's like are you gonna come or what and i was like yes i'm coming miss precious <laughs> i walked past the security jimmy says hey kid enjoy yourself took some pictures with me and i Stay backstage all night just getting autographs. Oh Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, The Barbarian, Manny Fernandez. I mean, I just stood, I was like, man, I'm in heaven back here. And most of them all said, 
how the hell did you get back here? You know, when you look back at the Garvins and, you know, uh, uh, Jimmy would come in and Precious would have the spray, spraying everything. I would be here today to look for the person that did it. And, and Ronnie was so um, uh, serious. Like he, he was, he, look, you knew you were gonna get your ass kicked if you're wrestling Ronnie Garvin. When you speak of wrestling families, they are the one and only family that always gets left out. You're talking about the hearts, the funks, you know, all of, all of the greats in all of wrestling, but they never mention the Garvins. My good friend right here, Chris Carter, was on the road speaking to some of those great legends about the Garvins. Here's what he had to say. That's one punch knockout. I'll never forget, he was fighting Ric Flair for the world title in a steel cage match on television on Saturday morning wrestling and my electricity went out at my house. Oh, no. And when the electric came back on, I turned the TV back on. He was celebrating in the ring with the belt. Jimmy was great. Uh, Jimmy Garvin was one of the best guys, I guess, to, you know, because I grew up uh, in the wrestling business. So I knew Jimmy a little bit beforehand when, he, when I first saw him when he came into town uh, in the early 70s uh, managing Terry Garvin. And then Ronnie came in and I, I knew them a little bit. But when I wrestled against Jimmy Garvin in, uh, in mid Atlantic area and stuff like that, what a formidable opponent. Uh, self this guy I'll go out there and he work with you to, to, to you know to get the get the match you know the people always hooked into the sunk their teeth in our matches so back to the Garvins you know right now both are have been retired for many many years you can all you can find them on the uh, uh, the circuit as far as the conventions go and all of that cool oh, stuff the big fan fest. And, yeah. and, and and they're always there to take photos, sign autographs, and all that cool stuff. And I'm gonna tell you, when you are the world champion, you are the best. So that makes me the best. To be a part of it back in, in, from so many years ago to right now, look, once upon a time I said, I'm done with wrestling. <laughs> Boy, was that, a, was that a lie. And guess what? I don't want to be done with it because then I wouldn't be able to come here and talk to my partner, my tag team partner, about some of the greatest of all time, including the Garvins, Ronnie and Jimmy Garvin. Thank you guys for joining us today. Professional wrestling too, Rudy. It is an art. It is an art form. Never think it's anything else. It is an art. When it's done properly, it's incredible. Absolutely. We'll be back next week with another edition of Wrestling Real Talk. Thank you so much for joining us. Until then. Give the like and subscribe to the greatest wrestling show of all time, Wrestling Real Talk. Once again, if you'd like for us to talk about one of your favorite stars, it's real simple. Use this address right here at the bottom of your screen. Do it now. Send in those requests. Wrestling real talk. So smash the like and whatever you do and then push the thing and subscribe and don't kayfabe it and get two uh, accounts because they'll get you in the end.